What is happening guys? So this is my installation video of the One Affinity CNC ball screw covers that I designed and came up with. So it's three inch brushes across the top. There's a gap in the front. This is the front of the brush shield. That way you can still home the machine without it actually um, hitting the brushes and then offsetting your home at all. So this right here is 3D printed. And then this attaches to this plate that I cut out and it's screwed multiple times right there. Now this will come fully assembled like this out of the box. You won't have to put any of this together. It'll come wrapped up just like this. And then you get, you'll get two of these and you'll get four brackets. So as of right now, this is only made for the One Infinity Woodworker and Journeyman. Um, I am not entirely sure if they work on the Elite as of right now, so if you have an Elite and you're like, oh, I want to get those, hold off and just wait. Uh, but this is for people who have the Journeyman One Affinity or the um, Woodworker One Affinity. So let's get into how we actually install this to the One Affinity CNC. Let's do that now. So in order for the brush shield to work with your One Affinity, you must have your spindle mount, either the old one or the new version, mounted in either the highest position or middle position. If you have it on the lowest position, it will hit the brush shield and it won't work with it. So now we're going to install the front brackets. That came with your infinity and just push them in like that. Or you can literally take this, push this through like that and just screw it on a little bit and then just pull it through and I'm going to go ahead and pull this one through and then I screw it so now they're in there there's these two locating studs that will line up right with these notches here and you'll just go like that and push it against that. Then you can take your screen mount, take your five millimeter nut and put it in there. I put my finger here just in case I push it out. They're a little snug, so you probably won't. And then you can just tighten that up. Take your next one, go ahead and put it in there. And then you can just screw it in. And you don't want to crank them down, but you can tighten them up pretty good. Uh, it is plastic, so as you see, I'm not like cranking it. When it's snug, it'll be good. And then you'll take the other side, which will go like this. This notch faces out. So this will be the back foot, and then you'll just repeat that step, or you can just push them in like that. So line up those those uh, location points on there, and it actually will stay. And you just take your M5, and screw back on this side of the motor mount, or the motor. Same with the bottom. Again, snug them. You don't want to go crazy. It is plastic. And there's the installation of the front and back. And then you just repeat that on the opposite side. So now we'll actually install the brush skirt. I line it up, push it in. Kind of like lift this up to the top of this bottom right here, the top of the bottom gantry. And then that way it allows for you to slide it in a lot easier. Just like that. So I want to remove it, up, pull out, bring it in here, push it in with the brushes pushing up against the gantry rail. 
Bring it over, slide it in. And then you can just easily pull it off, pull it on, or pull it off or put it on. Now we're going to home the machine and I'm gonna drive it forward. To about there, I got it really close. I'm gonna hit the emergency stop on the controller uh, UI. So now the motors have disengaged and you can move it around. I'm gonna grab the machine and I'm gonna pull it all the way forward to where both of the rails are engaging the front aluminum feet on the CNC machine. Then I'm going to come back over to the controller and I'm going to hit the emergency stop again to re-engage the motors and you should have been able to hear the motors engage and now I'm going to hit home and so now it's going to hit there It'll smack up against the side where it won't touch any of the brushes. And now the machine's home. Another reason why I've always done it this way, even before I had the brush, uh, the ball screw cover um, shields on there, is that when you if you square your machine, if you set your machine up the first time and you make sure you get this square and then every time you pull this tight to these front feet it will ensure that the machine is not tweaked. With this bigger gantry, if you crash it, like me, <laughs> for fun, <laughs> for videos and things, you'll end up tweaking your machine. And so if your machine is tweaked, one thing I highly recommend is, I don't think you can see it on the video camera there, is to pull this off, make sure this machine's all the way forward. I actually don't probably, I don't know, I don't know if people have my screw cap covered or not, but you're gonna want to unbolt all four of these. Not, not all the way, just loosen them up. That way when you come to pull them into the front feet, it will re-square that gantry because it got it could have got tweaked and then you can re-bolt those down and then you're good to go. Um, I've smashed my machine into the rails before and had my whole gantry tweak on me. And I've actually had much bigger machines tweak on me too. So it's not like the one affinity is the only machine that can kick out a square and then stay there because the bolts are holding it down. So Thanks for watching guys, let me guys know what you think, and uh, more videos coming soon, so please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, let me know what you want to see uh, for upcoming videos. Thanks. It's on the One Affinity CNC machine um, in just a second, but I want to tell you to make sure, oh, why the, I, the first one was better, I suck at this. I suck at making videos. I'm good at shorts. My wife's asking if she wants me to have her make it, because I suck at this. And there'll be brackets, which I don't have over here. So this is the insta this is this what? And this new camera tells me I need to go see a dentist. My teeth are yellow!